So how did I end up on this tiny island in the middle of Nicaragua? Nicaragua is easily one of my favorite places to travel. I spend a lot of time on Corn Island, which is on the Caribbean side. I don't think a lot of people think of the Caribbean when they think Nicaragua, but it has a beautiful coastline on the Caribbean side. And we took about a three hour boat ride from Corn Island to a very small island in a string of islands called the Pearl Keys. And this particular island inhabited about eight people, all who worked in the lobster industry. You can see the pots stacked up or traps. Um, that's what they use for catching lobster. Um, it is extremely rustic out here. You can see these buildings are basically just makeshift put together with whatever materials uh, that they can get out there. And um, there's no running water out there. They did have a small solar panel, so a little bit of power, but this is definitely off grid as it gets. And um, you're out in the middle of nowhere out here. What I really appreciated about this was everything was well thought out. Nothing goes to waste out there. Um, resources are very minimal, so every little thing gets used and has a place. I think uh, these videos and pictures show some of that and um, definitely is a very unique place to visit. But the real reason I was here was to shoot fish and uh, on the way out I was able to shoot my PB kingfish and a really nice snapper. As soon as we got there these guys flayed it all down and they were making some dried fish and you can see right here this is the process how they do that this was the tail end of a long dive trip and the next morning we got up to head out and we had a specific destination in mind the day before we had made it to a shipwreck and we had seen about an 80 pound grouper and we went back to check out if we could see that grouper again Immediately after the first dive, Bigfoot came up and said he had seen a sh huge grouper, and I went down to check it out. As I'm dropping down, I can see the tail sticking out from under the pilot's house of the boat, and this thing was huge. So I kind of sneak around the pilot's house here, and I take a shot, and I try to hit a dead center in its head. And man, this thing looked like a car underwater. I was actually nervous even taking this shot. Oh, fuck. That's a big motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, this is gonna be a real motherfucker now. Hey, get the boat over here. Yeah, shoot him again for sure. Holy. Okay, we need it. Come on, hurry up. You gotta keep pressure on this thing. Fuck. That is not a that's not an 80 pound fish. Ah, that's fucking huge. Ariel, hey, take that slip tip off of that gun. Use it with no slip tip. Have him crank that off real quick. Huh? He's off? No way. Fuck. This whole process has been edited down a lot, but it took us about an hour and a half to get this fish out of the shipwreck. And we all did multiple, multiple dives. Uh, Bigfoot and his ridiculous abilities diving really came in handy because that guy was diving probably three dives to every one dive me and Ariel were doing and uh, man without these guys help we would have never landed this fish I, I didn't see the fish I saw the shaft though huh? the shaft is deep. it's in the fish 
No way. <laughs> so after all three of us had put a shaft in this fish, it had bent all of our shafts. We had lines everywhere wrapped around the shipwreck. These guys were fed up with helping me out with this thing. So they told me I had to get it in the boat myself. So uh, they sat back and watched me struggle here. That's a beast, dude. <laughs> Here we are back at the island and uh, we're trying to get this thing out of the boat and into this little shack and on the scale. On the way back, we had all estimated this fish was going to be around 300, 350 pounds. Uh, once we got it on the scale in the shack, it weighed in at just over 200 pounds. I'm not 100% convinced that scale was accurate, but uh, either way, it was a massive fish. After we got it weighed in, it was time for some group pictures and everybody was fired up about seeing this fish hit the island. The last clip is Captain Luis and his deckhand cleaning this monster. And as you can see here, they had to break out all the techniques and all the big tools because this was serious business. I've seen a lot of people question harvesting a fish like this. And I know in the U.S. they're not legal to harvest. In Nicaragua, it's perfectly legal. And honestly, there's not a lot of people that have the equipment to catch these, either rod and reel or to spear them, like uh, what I did. And not one little piece of this fish went to waste. You can see um, they're getting every piece of this fish. They took the head and boiled that down, and they were extremely excited and happy to have this fish. <laughs> <laughs>